Hello, everybody. It's me, Tracy, again. You know, I'm trying to get it out there. <laughs> so, look what I got. It's a wine box. It's a wine box. I took the string out of it. Don't know what I did with it. Oh, here we go. It's a string right here that goes under these holes on the top to carry it, but I'm going to cover the top up. So, it slides open and you can get from Amazon it's a two pack and then you take the sleeves out to add the wine bottle top inside to make sure it stays stable so that's what I'm doing the video on right now so I choose this picture right here I like this picture so this is the picture I'm going to be using and we're going to do it together but this be my first time so I'm taking the size off. Of the picture. Not so much the uh, the top of it. We don't have to worry about it because we're not gonna put it. It's not gonna, this is 11 by 17. So yes, I'm using a large print uh, with my Epson 1600 ET. 1600 is what I have. So I'm cutting the size off. So I already have mine's already cut out because see I'm not going to come on here and not know what to do. So I started by cutting my pieces out that I'm going to need already. This one is going to be used as an extra or I might just print out another one. So I'm going to tell you how I did it. I took this piece right here and I lined it up, you know, let me use this one for a reference, because I lined it up, the way I lined it up is different from the other one. So basically I'm just going to line it up in the middle, making sure there's not too much yellow on this side. And it's just in the middle so I can get most of the micro core in the middle. See it? It's in the middle. In the middle. That's where I'm going to leave it at. So it looks like it's even. I have um, my um, surgical knife. I ordered it from Amazon. They come in different colors. So basically, I'm just going to go down here on the sides. And I'm just going to cut this out. Just cut it out. You know. Try not to cut the shelf because these things are very short. So I'm going to show you how I get my picture the way I want it. So I have a cut out. I didn't want to push too far because I messed up my table. I just did my table yesterday. It, it, it didn't cut it completely. I didn't push hard enough because I didn't want to mess up the table. So I'm just going to go over it with a little cut at and just cut these pieces out. That's all. So that's how I got the first piece. That's the first piece. And that piece going to go on top of here from the top all the way down that's the first piece so we're gonna cut this part off so i'm gonna show you how i got all my pieces because no there is no measurements all i know i'm using 11 by 17 and i'm cutting it down to what i want so by slicing it i got the size that i want by using 11 by 17. then i'm going to slide the whole thing in here inside the grooves 
holding it and making sure the paper don't slide off. Because you're going to pretty much have to jam it in there because the paper is going to be too big. When you put the paper on, you can't put all of it on anyway. Alright, so now that all the paper is on the top, I'm going to, because we don't want to use the whole full sheet and have to keep pushing the paper in there and jamming it because it don't want to work that way. And then it's hard to get it out. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to take the same razor and I'm going to go along here so I can take out the extras that we don't need because we don't want to jam it inside. So just go down. So you get that extra off. I'm going to take it off. So this piece came out good. That's how I got it. I'm gonna take this out and throw out the extra piece. Yeah. So you can see that there's lines. Uh, by cutting it with the razor, I left uh, lines on the edge. So when we replace this one, we're gonna put it in the middle. Once we glue it down, we're not gonna put it all the way to the edges because we want to leave that space empty. So that's how we got that part. So let's put that to the side. Now for the for the next pieces, we're just going to take the box part right here. Alright. So we're going to take this. I'm going to put this off. We don't need that. We don't need this. So I'm going to put this in here. I'll put that back in there. And then I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put my picture in top. I'm going to make this taller so y'all can see what I'm doing. So, there you go. You can see it a little bit now. Let me tilt it, so. Alright, so now, this is in here. Alright, so that's in here. The next piece is... Our side pieces so we got this piece and we got this piece these are the pieces that I cut off from the side you see so we're gonna take this one because this one goes on the big part and we're gonna try to keep it even by um Put this onto the side right here. Try to make it as even as possible. And we're just gonna tuck it under. Because that's how we, we wanna create a groove of what it looks like. And then we're gonna cut this off. So we won't rip the paper. We don't have to worry about the top. But you see what I'm doing? I'm basically folding it into the groove to give it a groove look so I can make sure when I cut my when I glue it down that all my pieces will line up so it's not gonna perfectly line up with the ribbon but it's gonna give it that effect that it's all lined up so you wanna you know gently go over it and make sure See how that part look like it's 
getting together. We're gonna put this to the side. We're gonna turn it around and we're gonna do it over for this side as well. We're gonna line it up with the micro score, the gold piece. We're gonna line that up. Make sure. There's no white or nothing hanging off. That's gonna um, show up. So just gonna line up, we're gonna line it up with the ribbon right here. Like I said, it's not gonna be perfect. It's, it's just to give it illusion. And we're gonna start pushing it in to create that crease. Cause we're gonna eventually glue it all down. Then I'm gonna take this and that little corner to make my cut. Cause I don't wanna rip it. So I'm just gonna make my cut. And then that's how I got these pieces. So here is my three pieces. There's my three pieces that we're gonna be working with. And then I'm gonna print out a whole nother one like this to complete the sides. But we're gonna start with this one first. So I'm gonna be using my Mod Podge. And I buy about a gallon and it don't go bad. Only thing that you might have to do is put some gloves on and peel it, peel out the inside where it gets thicker. Other than that, we don't have to do anything else. So look at my Mod Podge. Like I said, this is a wine box. So, if you want to be a part of my group, it's called Crafting Together as One. You can come on, see what we're doing, work with us. We work, we try to work together with each other, you know. And I would like to say thank you for finding my channel and watching my videos. And if you want to see anything that you know that you want me to make you can always leave me a message on facebook messenger i even do phone calls and i'll have no problem with talking to you and and stuff like that so what we're gonna do when i when i smash down i left i left some grooves in the corner with the razor to let me know where i I took it out there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put this, start with the Mod Podge, cover the whole thing. It's okay if you put the glue on the whole thing because we're not gonna put the paper on it, but it will dry. So we're gonna use the glue. Now I didn't watch any videos on what anybody else do to how to get their wine boxes done. This is my way everybody has their way i'm using mod podge i'm trying to make the surface flat as possible so it won't look lumpy under my paper and in my printer my epson ego tank um wide format printer i got it from amazon if you ask it costs a thousand dollars i'll see the link if you want i think the prices has changed and has went up for because of the high demand of it but um this is 90 pound white car stock that i'm using i use 90 pound white car stock in every printer except for the sublimation printer but so there's the picture i'm going to put that here not in the middle like like in the middle by leaving a border around it so i went to jamaica I had a nice time. I stayed down there for three weeks. I didn't do any crafts. I miss everybody. I sure did. I miss my craft. I've been doing a lot of overtime, so I haven't had time to even do craft. But I went to the store and bought everything. So even though I didn't have time, I bought everything. So I have a lot of stuff, little project stuff that I'm going to do. So this, y'all know this has like a little nip in it so i'm just gonna go in there and cut 
cut the top and I'm trying to follow my way around it because it has like a little small indent. I don't want you to cut this out. I just want you to loosen it up so that I can stick my finger in there, you know, and the glue will dry, but that's what it's gonna look like. So you can use this to pull it out, but you can always, you know, try to cover it up with like a, um, some of these marker pens. I got gold metal paint markers that I can go in this hole and add this gold paint to try to match with that gold chain so it won't cause a problem. So this piece is on. Now we're gonna take this piece and let's just slide this in here. It's pretty dry because we want to make sure everything matches. So we're gonna slide. So look, perfect, y'all. It looks nice already, and we can use this to take it out. So we practice with that one. But just need this to, to remind us where the piece go. So this one go on this side. This one go on this side. So this go on this side, that go on that side, and then this big one goes here on this side. So I just wanted to make sure everything was lined up. So let me lift the camera back up so you can get the view of the top of what I'm doing. All right, I believe I got the camera angle enough so you can see what I'm doing on the top. So what I'm doing, I'm going to put in this glue here, I'm going to put some glue here because that paper got to go under there as well. So, so just in that groove, see, along this edge. And on the top, I'm going to add this glue. Just basically pat it in there. Make sure that it ain't dripping down into the, the crease. Because we don't want it dripping in there. We drip it down there. And so, yeah, like I said, this project, you need a wide, a large um, wide format printer. Or you can go to your favorite print place and get, get it printed out. So now that I have that in there, yes, I'm gonna put this back in. I'll put the glue on first because I didn't want the glue to fall down on top of the picture. But what doesn't matter because we're gonna do some layers, maybe one layer on top of the picture anyway. So like I said, this is supposed to line up with this. And we're gonna start. And that paper that you folded. And we're going to tuck it in here, tuck it in here. And then we can go ahead and pull this out. And then we're going to make sure we got everything where we want it to be. And get to add more glue, add more glue if you want it to stay. stay like I said you can always go back and add more glue but it's always easy to glue something to wood you just have to be patient with it all right that looks pretty good now we're gonna flip it over flip the paper and then we're gonna glue the side Get all this, get all of it glued down nicely. That's what we want. So I got a few other things. Actually, I got a lot of stuff that I bought to do projects with, but I took like a three month break. You know, cause after a while, you need that break. Cause I needed that break to do my overtime so I can um, make money to buy new equipment. 
So I got a DTF coming. And then next I'll be ordering the, the embroidery machine. Probably gonna start with the single head. And then we're just gonna play with this, pat it down, make sure it's right. That's all. And it looks pretty good. It looks good. All oh, this part is all down. Everything looks good. We're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna do the paper. Put the paper back on the other side. But first we're gonna add this piece in because we wanna put the paper in the right way. We want everything to match up. We put the paper back in. It's not affecting the paper we put on the side, everything. It's lining up nicely. Everything looks good. So this paper goes on this side. We're gonna line it up and see where it go. And you already cut your groove, so then we're gonna take this, take this out. Because you know where your paper stays at now. So So I'm gonna Keep up with my groove. I know my groove starts where I slice it at, and that's where you know where your groove's at. So let's put some glue in here. And only on here. We don't want to put too much in the inside the groove and then it gets stuck in there. So you basically just want to put it there. So like I said, it's other, it's, I'm sure it's other videos out. This is how I do it. Um, you can do it other ways, but just putting pictures on the front and not around the sides in the back. So I got my glue all on the inside. And on the top, you see it? All a nice white line of glue. I'm using my marker here where I cut it, and I'm gonna put that here. And I'm gonna start putting it down in place. The other side looks like it's done it did pretty good. So that's all, just take your time and Make sure, you know, you get all your glue in and make sure everything stick. Like I said, because of wood, it's going to stick perfectly. So just hold it. And I think this is always going to be nice when it comes to giving somebody a personal gift on Mother's Day. So now you can order a nice box and do a Mother's Day on it. I even have a glow for it, so I can always take the top off the front of this box like they did on Etsy and then put the uh, a poem in there you know or the history of that wine that you want to put in there you can do that the history of that wine okay I'm turning to this side and I'm going to put this side down as well with the glue Don't have to be a whole lot as long as it ain't clumping all over the place. Because it's going to stick anyway. Just like the wooden tissue boxes, it's going to stick. And I actually took two days off in a row. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm wrong. So. so let's put this down. Rub it nicely. Make sure it's in place. Ain't nothing else you need to do. Take your razor, go over the edge, and go keep it close to the wood, and take that piece off. That's what you have to do. Make sure this is down properly.
nice so everything look good let me cut this side off tissue box yet but I guess I'll do that one too I'm off today might as well get a few things done all right so everything looking good here for our casing Makes you nervous, just wait till it dry and cut it. You know. Alright, so for the most part, it's pretty much done. I'm gonna um, put my piece in so y'all can see in front of this wine bottle. And then we'll decide, I'll decide whether I want to put, what I want to do with the rest of the sides. You got to line it up. You got to be lined up to get it back in there. Sometimes people could be pushing it, keeping it from going inside. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry. paint up there or something so the sides I've, I got some paint right here that you don't really have to worry about the sides too much I might just take the sides and just air layer black paint and put black paint on here or I can print another piece of picture and just try to connect and add to it so the choice is up to you pretty much is done and you don't really have to worry about doing the rest of it just to the front of the box as long as you put the black on here or cover it with the rest of the paper we should be good I hope you like this video so I don't like how I feel when I put it in there so I'm just gonna use this um file and just file it down along the side here to make it easier to go in this, uh, this is just a regular thing in the car I bought a whole bunch of them so you know you can use it in your craft room and then let me put it in here and see if they make it better see they make it better and then it can come out and go in out even so I might take a little bit more off but I'm gonna finish this and show y'all what it looked like So I decided I'm going to paint it, the rest of it, and not do nothing else to it, because we don't really need to. So I'm going to take the ruler across here, because... I want to keep it as even as possible. So I'm going to use the ruler. I can always clean it off later. As you see my pictures a little sideways. And I want paint everywhere.
my paper not as easy as I want it to be. So that's pretty much the look I'm going for. Just to, you know, add the black to it. It didn't come out 100% like I want, but that's okay. It kind of messed up a little bit. I think we can do it better. So I got that part done. It's black, it's, uh, it's not really um, causing too much of a, a ruckus. It just look like the picture is on top of the black. So, so I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do the top of it, put the strain back with the black paint. And then I'll show y'all this box when I'm done. All right, so I'm pretty much finished. Here we go. That's the top. Size is done. I guess I can. I'm gonna paint the back of it too. Might as well make it complete, right? And paint the back too. What a nice little quickie. I didn't even look at the back of it, but it would be complete if the back was beige color make sure y'all hit me up on messenger and send me a picture of y'all box too ring the bell if you want to see the videos and it's more than like 120 130 videos probably about 120 but check them out I'm sure they'll be interested to you so the back is done. So that gives it a clean. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> All right. So now you got that clean look. Some paint got on here, but um, I don't know. Let me try to wipe it off. You don't want to mess up the paper. But it happens. It happens, but it's okay. This one is for the video purpose. I'll make another one. I already got my pictures, pictures cut out for that anyway. So don't worry about that. Because this is my first one. So you got to learn by your first. So let's put this in. Like I said, I shaved it a little bit. I got like a little nick here and there. I gotta add some more glue to it and fix it. And here we go. We got a Michael's Core wine caddy box. So I'm gonna um, put paint down there. Take this back out. Got a little touch ups on some spots where I want to put paint at, like down there. Oh, I could have put paper down there, but nobody, I don't think, pay attention to that. They're just going to be like, oh, that's chill. That's nice. You can put people pictures on there. Whatever you want on there. Pictures and stuff. I like the personal lines, like you need to put the pictures on. They tell them to send you a couple pictures of what they want on there and you can put their face on there and make it nice all 
Michael's Core Tissue Box. It's got some, some flaws, but that's okay, because this was the first one when I do it again. You know, if somebody wanna order in, put an order in for one, when I do it again, it'll come out 100% better. Right now, there's some paint flaws and stuff like that. But I still got the concept right and everything. I even painted the inside. But there you go.